When DJI introduced the Osmo Pocket 3, it quickly became a go-to camera for vloggers, travelers, and content creators looking for a highly portable yet powerful video tool. Its standout features, like the larger 1-inch CMOS sensor, impressive stabilization, and a flip-out touchscreen, brought a significant leap forward in image quality and usability compared to its predecessors. All of this technology came wrapped in a sleek, pocket-sized design, ideal for creators on the move. Now, anticipation is building around the rumored DJI Osmo Pocket 4. Although the company has not officially announced this next-generation model, several leaks and speculations have emerged, offering a glimpse into the potential upgrades we might see. From advanced processing power and higher quality video to refined stabilization and smarter autofocus systems, the Pocket 4 seems set to expand on everything that made the Pocket 3 successful. At the heart of the Pocket 3's success is its 1-inch CMOS sensor, which represented a massive improvement over the smaller sensors used in previous iterations. This larger sensor significantly enhances low-light performance, provides a more cinematic depth of field, and generally delivers cleaner, sharper footage. According to early rumors, the Pocket 4 will retain the same 1-inch sensor, still a solid choice, as it strikes a great balance between physical size and imaging performance. However, one major expected upgrade is a new image processor, which could unlock several improvements, including more advanced computational photography capabilities, better dynamic range, and faster image handling overall. This would allow the camera to produce more detailed and accurate images, particularly in challenging lighting scenarios. One of the most talked about rumored upgrades is the addition of 10-bit color recording. Currently, the Osmo Pocket 3 supports 8-bit video, which can be limiting for creators who want to color grade their footage in post-production. With 10-bit video, especially if offered in formats like D-Log-M and HDR video modes, the Pocket 4 would allow for much smoother tonal gradients, more accurate color reproduction, and a significant reduction in color banding. This change would be a game-changer for filmmakers and video editors looking for more flexibility in post. The Pocket 3 already provides robust video capabilities, including 4K resolution at up to 60 frames per second, and slow motion capture at 240fps in Full HD. It also supports multiple aspect ratios, 16 to 9, 1 to 1, and 9 16, making it a versatile option for everything from cinematic projects to vertical content for social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. However, the Pocket 4 is expected to push these boundaries further. One major rumored enhancement is support for 4K at 120 frames per second, enabling even more cinematic slow-motion footage without sacrificing resolution. When combined with 10-bit color and rumored improvements in dynamic range, this feature could help preserve more highlight and shadow detail, especially useful in high-contrast shooting environments. In addition to resolution and frame rate upgrades, the new processor in the Pocket 4 could allow for higher video bit rates than the Pocket 3's 130 megabits per second limit. A higher bitrate would mean less compression and better video quality, especially when capturing scenes with lots of movement, fine textures, or environmental complexity, like cityscapes, forests, or fast-paced action shots. DJI's gimbal technology has long been praised, and the stabilization on the Pocket 3 is among the best in its size category. It performs remarkably well even when walking or filming handheld. However, some users have noted limitations in how the camera handles vertical or Z-axis movement, the up and down motion that naturally occurs while walking. To address this, the Pocket 4 is rumored to offer enhanced Z-axis stabilization. This could come through improvements in the gimbal's mechanical design or through software-based corrections that better smooth out vertical motion. These refinements would be particularly beneficial for vloggers and run-and-gun filmmakers who often shoot without tripods or stabilizers. Further enhancements to the gimbal may include adjustable responsiveness and motion smoothing, offering creators greater control over the cinematic feel of their camera movements. Additionally, DJI might optimize subject tracking through smarter algorithms, enabling smoother and more precise tracking shots. Autofocus performance on the Pocket 3 is generally fast and reliable, but the Pocket 4 is rumored to take a significant leap forward with the introduction of phase detection autofocus and potentially even eye tracking autofocus. These upgrades would help ensure sharp focus on subjects, even if they're moving quickly or unpredictably. Eye tracking, in particular, would be a huge asset for solo content creators who need the camera to keep their face in focus as they move around the frame. Paired with a more intelligent version of DJI's active track system, the Pocket 4 could deliver smoother, more reliable tracking of both people and objects, even in complex or busy scenes. 
this smarter autofocus system would also enhance automated modes like time-lapse, hyperlapse, and motion-lapse, allowing for more creative and precise setups without manual intervention. Audio quality is another area where the Pocket 3 performs admirably, thanks to its built-in 3-microphone array. The audio captured is directional and generally clear, especially considering the camera size. Still, the Pocket 4th of May introduce improved audio features. Better wind noise reduction, upgraded onboard processing, and possibly even features like spatial audio or audio zoom could elevate the sound recording experience for creators who rely on internal mics rather than external setups. A redesigned mic layout could also lead to more consistent audio capture, particularly when filming in windy or crowded outdoor environments. When it comes to the display, the Osmo Pocket 3 features a 2-inch rotating touchscreen with a brightness level of 700 nits. It's a strong performer outdoors and offers responsive controls. While a complete redesign of the screen is unlikely, the Pocket 4 could introduce modest upgrades such as improved touch sensitivity, a slightly larger display, or higher brightness levels for better visibility and direct sunlight. These small tweaks would contribute to a more seamless shooting experience. In terms of physical design, the Pocket 3 maintains a compact form factor at 139.7 by 42.2 by 33.5 mm and a weight of just 179 grams. This portability is part of its appeal, and the Pocket 4 will likely preserve this compactness. However, subtle design refinements could enhance ergonomics and handling comfort, particularly for extended shooting sessions. One highly requested feature that may finally make its way into the Pocket 4 is a built-in 1 quarter inch 20-screw mount. This simple addition would allow for quick and easy attachment to tripods or other accessories without requiring an extra mounting bracket, streamlining the shooting process. Another practical improvement users have long requested is weather resistance. The Pocket 3 doesn't offer any official dust or water protection, which limits its use in rougher outdoor environments. Rumors suggest the Pocket 4th of May introduce basic splash or dust resistance, making it more reliable for travel and outdoor content creation where weather conditions can be unpredictable. Battery life on the Pocket 3 is already decent, offering up to 166 minutes of continuous recording at 1080p with Wi-Fi and the screen turned off. Charging is also impressively fast, with 80% battery reached in just 16 minutes when using a compatible charger. However, the Pocket 4 might push battery performance even further. Thanks to a more efficient processor or a slightly larger internal battery, users could see extended run times, especially when shooting in higher resolution or high frame rate modes. Storage options are expected to remain consistent, with the Pocket 4 continuing to support microSD cards up to 1TB. However, there may be enhancements in terms of support for faster card write speeds or more intuitive file management options within the interface. Finally, DJI may expand the Pocket 4's versatility with new magnetic lens attachments, such as ND filters, wide-angle adapters, or macro lenses. These would snap on easily and provide creators with more options for capturing diverse types of footage on the fly, without needing to carry around bulky gear. In summary, while the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 remains a formidable compact camera, the rumored Osmo Pocket 4 seems poised to elevate nearly every aspect of the user experience. With expected improvements like 10-bit color, higher frame rate 4K recording, smarter autofocus with eye tracking, refined stabilization, improved audio, and potentially even weather resistance, DJI appears to be listening closely to user feedback. If even a portion of these upgrades come to fruition, the Pocket 4 could become an essential tool for creators who want powerful, professional-quality video in an ultra-portable, creator-friendly package. We'll have to wait for the official release to know for sure, but the future certainly looks promising for DJI's next-generation pocket camera.